everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to open a native c activity in native android application using kotlin so i will tell you what exactly i mean so here is my output now the hello world button which you see is a normal button which i have created using xml layout you can use jetpack compose as well but as soon as i click on this button it opens a new screen okay and by uh, default the screen is blank but if i click on this screen here you can see this screen uh, the color of the screen automatically changes now there is nothing new in this right but this particular screen which you see is a screen which is developed completely in c so it is a native activity in short uh, so even though uh, in some sense we consider kotlin or java as the native language but the actual native language is c so we'll see how to do this now many of you might be thinking why would we need this but suppose if you want to integrate some kind of a game which is implemented completely in c i think uh, in an existing android app this would be extremely helpful so let's see how to do this again uh, now i am not an expert in c all the c code which i will show you have been copied from a github repo i will show you that github repo as well but yeah let's get started so first what you will have to do is you can't create a normal android project you will have to click on uh, file new uh, new project and here you can't select this empty activity or empty views activity you will have to select native c now this particular thing can be added in an existing android application as well but if you are doing this for the very first time i will uh, like recommend you to use this native c uh, activity because that would be much more easier because just like me if you don't have much knowledge about c so just select native c click on next give your app some name click on next and in c standard just keep it as toolchain default and click on finish now i have already created this project all right so once the project is created you my uh, and it has done gradle syncing you will see an main activity and activity underscore main as well but here you will see one c folder as well cpp folder open that and by default it has this uh, native dash lib dot cpp this is not really helpful for us like this kind of thing is helpful when we want to call some kind of a method from kotlin to native c but we want an entire activity or an entire screen which is written in c so just uh, right click over here new uh, select file and name it as main.cpp i have already created this now for this particular thing i have just literally copy pasted the code from this particular url no not this i'll just show you so this one main.cpp so just go to this particular url and copy paste the code now this is not exactly c from what i i mean it is c but i think there is something called glsl which is a variant of open gl that's what we should that's what would is used in native android application uh, again i'm not really sure about this you can do your own research but here i'm basically copy pasting the code so that the screen which i show you where it was changing the background color that's what it basically does when you click on the screen okay so i have just copy paste this code and paste it over here so that's what i have done next you you will see this cmake list.txt so first line would be cmake minimum version required keep it as it is because uh, the version will depend on what version of cmake has been installed in android studio uh, in case if you don't know for native c plus or native activity you also need to install cmake so if i go to my settings android hdk uh, i think it is in hdk tools hdk tools here you can see ndk has been installed so whatever is the latest ndk you can install that uh, you don't need to install too like i i don't know why this is installed but just install whatever is the latest version and uh, make sure you install android hdk command line tools as well and in cmake you will have to install whatever is the latest version at the point of me recording it is 3.2.22.1 so keep it as it is rest everything you can delete and then you can just go to the cpp cmake list.txt and rest from here you can just copy paste it and paste it over here so that's what i have done as you can see i've just copy pasted uh, so that's it for the c code 
next uh, what we have to do is go to android manifest and here we have to add one more activity and that is native activity so you can just copy paste this code and it it is smart enough to identify that okay we i need to run this main.cpp file once this native activity is called because cmake uh, list takes care of takes care of uh, takes care of that okay next inside activity underscore main i have just created one button like by default you see a text view i have just converted it to button rest everything remains the same okay and in main activity you might be seeing some uh, view binding code like i have removed that view binding code or uh, whatever is called whatever it is called like i don't like it i just use traditional find view by id but if you like view binding you can use that as well and on click of our button i'm just opening our native activity and if you see these are all the imports okay i'll just re remove this activity main binding i don't need this so yeah that's it that's how simple it is now uh, suppose if you have a default android application you didn't select that native c plus plus template so in that case firstly you will have to create one folder called cpp okay inside that you will have to create the cmake list.txt which i have already shown you will have to create main.cpp you don't need this native dash lib.cpp we are not really using it in in i don't think we require this includes is automatically generated for us so we do, don't worry about it then inside android manifest again you will have to add this and the important thing which you will have to add is inside build.gradle.kts uh, where is it so you will have to add this external native build cmake where, wherever is your cmake list file located uh, pass that particular path and whatever is the version so our version is 3.22.1 that's what i'm using it over here as well and just do a, a sync and then you can run your application so that's how easy it is yeah that's it thank you for watching bye